Funniest kid test answers. Are you a kid? Are you in school? And do you hate doing tests? Well, you've come to the right place. You guys seem to love these funniest kid test answers. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. Welcome to the channel. Hi. Let's just get right into the video. Hello. This thing is so confusing. Sometimes it's actually... Oh, my God. Anyways, so this kid on the date line puts, No, I won't go on a date. I only think of you as a friend. Sorry. Okay, well, that's definitely not what it meant. But hey, I mean, at least now the teacher knows that you don't want to go on a date with them. Good, that, that probably shouldn't be a thing ever. Please don't go on a date with your teacher. That's just weird and probably illegal. This is actually great, though. At least they were polite. They even put sorry. Like, they were so nice about it. They're like, I'm so... Oh, sorry. I just think of you as a friend, Mrs. Merch. That's the only thing I could think of because of my brand new merch that you can get first link in the description. So sorry for the plug. Mrs. Merch, come on. I'm so, I'm just sorry. I, I just, I, I don't want to date you. Like, I, I don't even know why it says date on this piece of paper, but like, I'm not trying to date. I'm only 10 years old. I'm not old enough to date. I haven't even had my first kiss. This is amazing, dude. 10 out of 10 kid test answer. <laughs> what has helped you during sad times? Hmm, well, whenever I'm sad, usually Finn. Finn helps me out, right, Finn? <laughs> That's what what I'm talking about. Finn's the best, and I don't know if you knew this, but Finn is actually on sale right now. So if you click the link down below, you can cop yourself a Finn. And also, they're 15% off. Oh my god. Just use code INFINITE when checking out for Finn, and you can get Finn for 15% off. Go cop, dude. You're gonna love it. Finn's the best. Anyways, but that's what I do when I'm sad. Finn helps me out. He's, he's just great. He's great, guys. He's, he's just super great. But anyways, this kid put chicken, and then put this weird orange, I guess that's a piece of chicken. I mean, yeah, why? I guess so. Very detailed piece of chicken right there. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I agree, man. I, chicken definitely would help me out as well. I love chicken with barbecue sauce. Just dip the chicken in the barbecue barbecue sauce, chicken with ranch. Oh my God. Dude, forget being sad. Chicken and ranch will help you out. At least it does for me. That's the best thing in the world. I freaking love chicken, dude. And that rhymes. Words of the week. Directions. Write as many words with the same pattern ending in uck. Uck? Why would you set up your kid with that, dude? They're obviously going to write the bad word, which is fire truck. Okay, I'm just kidding. I, I can't say the word demonetized, but you know the word, okay? You know the bad word. Why would they set up their kid with this? This is the dumbest kid test ever. Anyways, the kid put truck, luck, duck, buck, tuck, muck. F word. <laughs> Good job. Hey, at least they didn't put it. Hey, good freaking job, buddy. Little Billy literally just put F word. <laughs> and then we got yuck and stuck. Honestly, they got a lot of words. What other words are there? Like freaking, there's fire truck. Did they put duck? Yeah, they put duck. Struck. Oh, oh, five letters. Whoa. <laughs> I'm smart. Actually, that's six letters. I'm an idiot. What home comforts would you miss as a prisoner? Oh, God. Well, um, I'd probably miss my phone. I would miss that quite a bit, especially the phone case. Look at that. It's beautiful. First link down below. I would miss my phone. I would miss my friends, my family, my merch. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, I don't know. I'd probably miss a lot of stuff. What did this kid put? Pringles heart. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be pretty sad, too. Just, I mean, I would really miss Pringles. I loved the barbecue flavored Pringles. Oh, I just love barbecue. Yeah, you're right. Pringles. Yeah, I definitely miss Pringles. They have some really good Pringle flavors, man. That's the only thing I'd miss, though. Nothing else. Says screw family. <laughs> screw friends. <laughs> just Pringles. Pretty interesting uh, answer you got there, Jimothy. Is that a name? I guess so. So on this test, this kid definitely failed. Got an F, a fat F, and then the teacher put, maybe try this. And then you flip over the test, and there's a McDonald's application. Yo, teacher, you can't be telling me you're this savage. There's no way, dude. You'd get fired. I feel like you'd get fired if you were this savage. Honestly, I love it. Whoever's teacher this is, you're literally so savage. I, 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 you're great, dude. Oh, it's To Kill a Mockingbird essay. Oh, God, I hated essays, dude. Probably my least favorite thing in school. Absolutely hated them, dude. Who likes essays? They're stupid. Guys, vote me for president, and you'll never have to do an essay again. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I will be president. So drop a like. My daughter asked me how to spell my name so she can write it down, then hands this to me. So 
we got this thing. Uh, Asia? Okay, so that's her name. Her name is Asia. Y'all, tell me this isn't a grave. Oh, it kind of does look like a grave, dude. Why is your kid drawing your name on a grave? Are they hinting at something? What does this mean, little Penny? Dude, if my kid started drawing my name on graves and drawn creepy freaking drawings. I ain't about it. All right, you're going up for adoption, Timmy. Little infinite junior. Nah, -uh. no, nope, they better not. I'm not even gonna teach them how to draw because I don't want them drawing creepy stuff. Okay, freaking Timmy, you're not drawing nothing, infinite junior. Nice try though. I bet you infinite junior is gonna watch this video when they grow up and then they're gonna be sad. Sorry, man or woman. I don't know if it could be Timmy. Timmy could be a girl name, right? I don't know. Okay, we're moving on. Finish the sentence. If I had the principal's job, I would dot dot dot. Um, let me just put my answer. I would not let there be essays. Let's freaking go drop a like for that. Also, I would make it the only period is lunchtime. Also, for lunch, I would love there to be only breakfast food. So like pancakes, waffles, bacon, eggs. Oh, my favorite food. I love breakfast food. So lunch is actually breakfast and that's it. You just go to school, have lunch, breakfast, lunch, I don't know. And then you leave, that's it. So make me president or principal <laughs> or both. Anyways, this kid put quit and get a job I'd enjoy. Oh. Oh! Oh! Savage! Savage, and the Savage Award goes to you, little Patricia. True. Why would you become a teacher unless you enjoy it? I mean, teachers out there, if you do enjoy your job, good for you, I approve. But if you don't enjoy your job, then why are you doing it, dude? I get it. Some people have to do jobs they don't enjoy to, you know, feed their family and stuff, but try to get a job you enjoy, work hard, you have one life. I'm just, ah, I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker, but don't you enjoy it? All right, because life's short. So if you kids want to be an astronaut, be a freaking astronaut, all right? Let's freaking go. So you know when you get in trouble in class and your teacher says, okay, I want you to write, I will not do stupid things ever again. And then you have to write that like a hundred times each line. I will not do stupid things ever again. I will not do stupid things ever again. Stupid, I hate it, right. Well, this kid right here, look at this. He's a freaking genius, dude. I will make better choices. So he did something he probably freaking, you know, scribbled on his teacher's face Dang, subscribe to infinite chicks. <laughs> Hooligans, man. He just put, I will make better choices one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, and then he was like, wait a second, all of these letters have long lines where I could just cheat. Like, look, he put the I all the way down, the L's, the M's, the B, the T, like all of them, he just did one straight line and then just had to make the rest. Like, dude, freaking genius, dude. What a freaking genius kid. Whose kid is this? You're smart. Good job, you raised a smart kid. Well, actually, you raised a kid who cuts around corners and gets in trouble, but still he's kind of smart a little bit. You beat the system. Copy the reindeer. So we got this nice little reindeer and apparently you're just supposed to draw it on the other side of the paper, but this kid decided to be a freaking genius and do this. Control C, Control V, <laughs> which on a keyboard, if you press Control C and then Control V, it's copy paste. If you didn't know that, I'm just I don't know, maybe some of you don't know that. But yeah, so he's literally just trying to copy and paste the reindeer. I'm sorry, little Todd. I'm sorry, Todd, but this is not gonna work. You actually just have to draw it. F plus for you, okay? No, honestly, I would probably mark him right. Like, I'd be like, oh, okay, you were smart. Good job. You control C, control V, copy, paste, boom. That'd be sick if you could actually do that. Like, like if, if I wanted to make an extra fin, I could just be like, control C, control V, boom! Oh, there's two of you now, what the heck? I am a scientist, and then we got this nice little drawing. Jake right here uh, drew this. Very great. I like your eyes and your weird hair. Okay, I don't know. Anyways, he says, I want to learn about subscribing to the channel. Do you know how to do that? Just press the red button. Just press subscribe button. I want to learn about explosions. Okay, well, we got a pyromaniac on our hands. Jake, Jesus, okay. Um, we'll be safe then about it because I like to blow things up. <laughs> he's literally, he's a psychopath. We got Jake the psychopath, the mad scientist psychopath. Nice, I hope Jake grows up to be a great scientist who blows things up. Good, yeah, th that'll be fun. There once was a bear who had purple hair, that's rare, so Bob attacked him. The last part didn't really rhyme too well, but the rest was good. Look at him, dude. We got a nice little drawing of a purple bear and Bob attacking him with 
a stick or is that a shotgun? I don't know, but he's floating. Fix your freaking palm, dude. The, the last part didn't rhyme. You could have done it like this. There once was a bear who had purple hair. That's rare. So Bob shot him in the Bob shot him with a pear. I don't know. I've got so many clothes on. I feel as big as a whale. Okay, very interesting question. And then the kid wrote, I've got so many clothes on. I feel like your mom. Oh, <laughs> oh, your mom jokes coming at you like that. Oh, dab on the haters. Let's go, dude. What a savage. Oh my God. Oh my God. You freaking roasted. Your mom got roasted. Get freaking wrecked, dude. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Whoa, dab. My dog is a... Uh, so he was supposed to circle hero, companion, or worker, but he just decided to circle the word circle, and then he drew <laughs> his dog. Oh God, no, whose dogs look like that? If your dog looks like that, you've been feeding him too much human food. Like, oh my God, your dog is so fat. He's literally a circle. <laughs> and come on, you're not supposed to circle the word circle. It's telling you to circle one of these words and ugh, you freaking messed this whole thing up, you stupid. Susie made a birthday hat in the shape of a cone with a diameter of eight inches and a height of 12 inches. I hate this already. I don't like math ever. Determine the volume of the party hat. No, I don't want to. Anyways, let's see what the kid wrote. She didn't invite me, so I'm not going to solve her problem. Get a therapist. <laughs> That's what I'm freaking talking about. I would give her an A plus, plus 10,000 points. Like, dude, just graduate already. Like, you're a genius, dude. I love it. On your own, 11.6. Saturn, Uranus. <laughs> Sorry. And Neptune have at least three things in common. List them. Number one, they are all planets. Number two, they are all round. Number three, none of them have McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, he is, he is correct. You can't mark him wrong. You, you, you can't, you, he, he is right. I mean, they don't have McDonald's, so I mean, <laughs> come on planets, why, why you slacking, dude? We want McDonald's on your anus. That's an interesting sentence. Guys, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and guys, 100,000 likes, and I'll become president of the United States, and there'll be no more essays, there'll be no more math, it'll, it'll just be, you go to school, you eat lunch, you go home. Boom, drop a like right now, let's get it. Cop the merch, guys, brand new merch out right now, in youth sizes, so go cop, it'll fit you. Go ask your mom and, and beg her and be like, I want this beautiful piece of artwork merch. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Peace out. This video is sponsored by Bang. Have you guys heard of Bang? Well, if you haven't, then you haven't been living. They have such a great variety of flavors like Citrus Twist. Let's give this one a try. Whoa, that's good. Oka Madness with Protein. Star Blast. Purple Haze champagne, and many more flavors. But we're gonna try this one out too. Oh, that is my favorite one by far. So guys, go click that first link down below, go cop some bang, and make sure to use code INFINITE25 on your purchase for 25% off. I promise you guys are gonna love bang, they're so good, and they wake you up. So drink one in the morning, and you're chill. Also guys, make sure to go check them out on their social media, Instagram, at Bang Energy. Bang's the best, guys, you guys are going to love them. Click that first link down below. Thank you so much to Bang for being such a big sponsor of the channel.